Have you guys ever been through any natural disasters? Now, it doesn't have to be significant natural disasters where like there's widespread damage and all sorts of bad things going on, but you know, things like major storms, uh, earthquakes, fires, wildfires, any anything like that. I'm just curious, have you guys been through anything like that? Um, I grew up as a kid in Southern California, so I kind of experienced earthquakes. Um, to me, they weren't really that big of a deal. We dealt with them in school. We were told to go stand in a doorway when they happen, make sure things aren't gonna fall on you. And I've never been through one where there was like any like huge, I guess, damage in my local area. So I haven't really been through anything crazy like that. Um, so yeah, earthquakes were always like a part of my life growing up and they haven't really been that big of a deal, but I know there's been people out there that haven't really experienced them before and they might seem super scary. Uh, I'm kind of in a, <laughs> in a situation like that right now myself. Uh, I have moved to Florida for those of you who don't know and Hurricane, I think it's called Dorian, is on its way here and yeah, it's supposed to make landfall here in Florida sometime, I think, on Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, somewhere in that general area. Anyway, I've never been through a hurricane before. Uh, I know they're really windy. I know it produces a lot of rain, but I don't know what else to expect. I mean, I guess there'd be like flooding and potential wind damage and things along those lines. Uh, as soon as I heard that <laughs> there was a hurricane supposed to be hitting around the Florida area, it's not actually like, according to the stuff, it's not like directed on Jacksonville where I live, but somewhere in central Florida, according to the current models. Um, yeah, I went out to the store and I got all the stuff, so like if power's out, I have food and water and things like that. Um, but yeah, like, I know it's not going to be landing on me, but it just seems like one of those things that might be pretty scary. That, uh, you know, if, it, if something were to happen, if it tracks further north, it lands on me. I don't know. Uh, irrational fears, I guess, are all part of natural disasters and the unknowns and those kinds of things. Um, but yeah, like, earthquakes, like I said earlier, I grew up with them, and they weren't really that big of a deal. Nothing really terrible ever happened with them, uh, when I was around, but, uh, yeah, that doesn't mean that terrible things can't happen. And probably the scariest earthquake I was, I dealt with was one when I was living in Montana, of all places. Yeah, it had an earthquake. It, it wasn't like a really small one either. It was like, you know, a five, five and a half. I don't remember the exact uh, rating of it, but it's one of those ones like it's not a huge earthquake, but it's completely like if that was California, no big deal, right? Those happen all the time. Like, who cares? But like <laughs> in Montana, you're not really expecting an earthquake. And that made it like really unexpected and scary, right? Um, yeah, so I don't know. It's just... I keep thinking about these kinds of things, and I, I'm sure everything's going to be fine. I'm not really worried, but it's just like I've never experienced it before, so that makes it a little bit more scary, I guess? Anyway, uh, so the mob farm is working well, guys. We, uh, yeah, we, we're we getting monsters here. I have enchanted all of our armor. We have protection and unbreaking. Aqua Affinity was one of the bonuses on our helmet. We got protection for unbreaking on all of our stuff, except for our boots. So we have feather falling. I feel like that's more important than protection unbreaking. Yeah. Anyway, so we got that. Uh, we have our silk touch pick. We have a fortune pick. We have a uh, efficiency unbreaking shovel that has fortune. I guess that doesn't really matter. Looting sharpness and unbreaking sword. And then a power unbreaking bow. Uh, we got efficiency on breaking axe with fortune, I guess. Who cares about the fortune? Uh, and then we got ourselves a power one bow that I didn't cue off the edge here. <laughs> so yeah, we are doing pretty good on enchantments, guys. Um, I'm just kind of just farming stuff because we are eventually going to want to get ourselves a lot of gunpowder and potentially bone meal and other things like that, right? So I'm just m smacking these mobs around with my looting sword so we can collect those extra drops. Uh, we will want the extra gunpowder for Elytra. Uh, you turn the gunpowder into the rockets and you essentially can fly in Minecraft. 
using that method. So we definitely want this gunpowder. So yeah, I'm just kind of like farming these things up. And then the drops, like I've been putting them over here. So that is on like all of the drops we have. So we have a decent amount, but yeah, we're gonna be going through a lot of this stuff. So it's one of the things I kind of want to keep on top of and make sure uh, that we don't run out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we don't really need the experience right now. I'm just kind of, uh, attacking monsters. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to look at today, our next goal in order to progress, in order to fly, is going to be getting ender pearls. Well, I guess we have to go to the end. We have to go to the nether, right? To get, uh, blaze powder. And then we have to fight endermen in order to get ender pearls. It looks like it is now becoming nighttime, so it might be a good time for us to get out of here, go back to the base, and not sleep, and to fight monsters. We have plenty of armor, we have protection, we have the unbreaking, the sharpness. I think this night is time to go look for Enderman. So I'm just gonna go do what we normally do when fighting an Enderman. You make yourself a too high area with a little roof so the Enderman can't get to you. You look at them, and then you attack them. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to end up doing here. And hopefully our looting will pay off. Hopefully we'll be able to find Enderman. I've seen it before where you go out and you look for him and there's just no Enderman. And you got to wait for the next night. Hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen. I have done a little bit of terraforming around here as well. Since we got this axe, I decided to really start chopping down a lot of these dark oak trees. And in fact, right here, there was like a kind of a mountain area that I leveled out and then uh, covered with dirt. So we have a nice flat area. So we can do a little bit more crop farming. We can bring animals over here, have a place for them. Yeah, there's definitely reasons for me to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to grab some blocks here. And then hopefully we should, well, hopefully we can find some endermen on this night and get them to drop some ender pearls. We really don't have a nice, clear, open area, like a desert or something, plains nearby for us to just kind of hang out in and move around and watch for monsters to spawn. I feel like maybe the next best thing is what I'm doing right here and just kind of cruising along the coast and hoping that we can see some spawns along the coast. I'm not sure if that's the best way of doing it. We haven't really done too much exploration around. Uh... So I don't really know what all is around, but yeah, this is definitely something we need to figure out to get a nice area to find Endermen. Yeah, I don't think we're going to really be able to find them too much around our base. So yeah, exploring around is definitely, definitely a thing that we need to do. Now, hopefully we can find a desert or some kind of a plain somewhere that's flat, relatively hill free that we can see monsters from a distance away. And, not, well, I mean, yeah, you wanna look at Enderman and bring them closer to you, right? So yeah, that's really what we wanna do here, but no such luck yet. Still kinda like going around. It's a random floaty Mario block there. Uh, Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna keep going around. Hopefully we can find some nice flat area and we'll be right back. Okay, well, I didn't find an Enderman, but I did see a village, and I think that's the first village that we've seen, so that is good news. And this looks like this might be plains over here, so I think we're going to go ahead... Oh, drown. I think we're going to go ahead and get out of our boat over in this general area. I think this might be okay. Yeah, we just follow the coast around on the left-hand side going back, and that should take us back to our base. Otherwise, we can just open up uh, this thing and... Follow the compass back, right? <laughs> anyway, so let's come up here and see if we can find any Endermen around. Bunch of piggies, some zombies. Hopefully those zombies don't kill all of my villagers. I don't really want to, like, try and save them. Oh, yeah, I think the zombies going to be really attracted to them, aren't they? Um, yeah, we just want to see if we can find ourselves some Ender Bros around here. Bunch of sheep, pigs, chickens. Were there cows around? I don't know if I saw cows or not. Seems like all the animals are out here tonight. Uh, oh yeah, there's cows up there. Creeper, zombies everywhere. This is perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm just really gonna ignore all the uh, the other guys. We just want to keep moving around, letting monsters despawn, letting new monsters spawn in. We really just want to find Enderman. That is our goal. Uh, we have zero Ender Pearls at this time. 
We need more than zero. <laughs> Probably around 16, I would say. All right, well, here's our first Enderman. Just one kind of hiding in that tree right there. Trying to get away from all these other monsters so we can just deal with the one guy. Make ourselves our little barrier thing. Get rid of these blocks. Oh, I threw my pickaxe. <laughs> oh, everybody's over here. Hi. All the monsters. Okay. Get rid of this guy. He's going to be super annoying. Oh, get him. Yeah. Oh, man. I was like, anybody else? And turn around. There's all sorts of baddies right there. No. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Now the Enderman's going to run away. Dang it. Ah, our plan is foiled, guys. Well, that rainstorm turned into a thunderstorm, and the thunderstorm allows monsters to spawn, so I just came out to the village, fought for a while, slept. Uh, but before I was able to sleep, a creeper did blow up and took me to a half of a heart. It threw me way up in the air. My feather falling four boots saved me. I would have died from falling damage otherwise. That was crazy. Uh, let, let's check out this village real quick. So what is this block? That's the fletching table, I think. Um, I don't think that serves a use or you can't even make a villager a fletcher or... Ah, I think that's the case. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what's in here? Okay, so we got a bunch of taters. We got some bread. Uh, apples, a flour. You know what I'll take? I'll take the bread. We're not looking real great on food right now we have a bunch back at the base but i didn't bring any with me uh yeah i do kind of want to check out this village see if there's any good stuff in the uh treasure chests or i guess the uh the chests that the villagers have nothing in here and then i want to check out our village buddies yeah um if you don't know the villagers in 114 are absolutely crazy uh, there's where the creeper blew up and took me to a half a heart. Blew up part of this thing. Let me uh, fix it. That's not fixing it. I was going to place it on the bottom and I placed it on the side. Perfect. You can't even tell anything bad happened, right? Th there's nothing wrong here. It was it was like that when I got here. But anyway, the villagers in 114, yeah, they are pretty crazy. You can have them... I guess there was a dirt there too. <laughs> you can pretty much get a villager to trade you any single book you want. Uh, and you can get it down to one emerald per book, I do believe. I personally haven't done a whole lot of that. Oop, kitty cat. Um, but yeah, I do know about if you get a villager, you can place down a workstation next to him, like a lectern. They'll turn into a librarian. And then they'll have a random chance to start with some kind of a book to trade, which means you can get mending pretty easily. Not just mending, but like pretty much any of the different enchantments that you could possibly want. So you want protection for a book for that? Well, you can get a villager to do that. If you want sharpness for, another villager can do that. Yeah, so there's lots of good things that you can do with these villagers, but you need to have the materials around. Um, I don't think I have a lectern here. In fact, I don't even know what the recipe is for a lectern off the top of my head. I didn't see like a uh, librarian villager house around here. So we would have to make a lectern and then bring it to the villagers and set it down for that to happen. But I think that's something that we could do. Let me go ahead and uh, break this real quick. I have an ax and I punched it. It's fine. Uh, oh, I have a crafting, well, oh, that's fine. I'm just, that's my crafting table. This can be their crafting table. I wanted to place this down and look for the lectern because I don't remember what the recipe is. So it's a bookshelf and then it is four slabs. Well, we don't have, uh, any books in this village. I don't think there's any way for us to make a bookshelf at this time, but I could go back to my base, grab that stuff and then come back here. But honestly, I think we're going to have to wait for a little bit later on that. I'm just going to wait for uh, nighttime so we can try once again. Hopefully we don't have to deal with rain and we can get ourselves an ender pearl. Man, that was pretty disappointing. <laughs> like as soon as we find an enderman, it starts raining and then the enderman like freaks out, teleports away. We don't even get a chance to attack it for a drop. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wait for nighttime. Got about five more minutes to wait or so. And hopefully we'll have better luck finding ourselves an Enderman. All right, our first Enderman. There is a creeper nearby, so I don't want to, like... 
I, I don't want the creeper to get me. Where did he go? What? I just looked at the Enderman. It teleported. And now this cow's staring at me. What are you looking at, cow? Uh, where'd my Enderman go? <laughs> what is that? Is it going to come attack me as soon as I leave my little area? Uh, okay. So there was an Enderman. I looked at it. It freaked out. It teleported. Maybe it landed in this water and then lost interest. I'm not sure. That's really mm. odd the way that just happened. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. we've had two Endermen now that we haven't been able to attack. And we haven't been able to get Ender Pearls from. So, yeah. Hopefully, we'll be able to actually be able to attack one at some point in the future. Did that, was it, did a skeleton like shoot that and it blew up on the skeleton or something? Oh yeah, there's a skeleton right there. Okay, well anyway, I'm gonna keep uh, hunting around. Hopefully we will find an Enderman. Aha! Now, can I actually kill this guy? Hopefully. Please, and then drop a pearl. The zombie's gonna mess with me. Get out of here. All right, one more hit. There we go. Our first Enderman, four pearls! Pink sheep. Oh yeah, so here's another Enderman. Come on, big money, big money, big money, no whammies! What are you gonna drop? I wanna see four, oh, that looks like just one. That was just one. Wah, wah. All right, let's keep going. Oh yeah, up to eight of them now, that's good. Come on, come on, drop some pearls for me! One more hit, and just one pearl. Come on, die! Ooh, that's a lot of pearls. All right, we're up to 11 now. That's great news. Oh boy, we got two of them on us now. Ooh, drop some pearls, drop some pearls. Oh, that's multiple. What are we up to, 13? I like it. And, whoop. Okay, 14 pearls. We're getting there, guys. We are getting there. All right, guys. Well, we are well over 16 pearls. We got 16 plus four, and there was like four Endermen that spawned over here. This is the last of them, I do believe. Oop, I only dropped one. Okay. Well, we have more than enough Ender Pearls for what we wanted to do. I am kind of close to that village now. Whoa. Huh. Yeah, I've been kind of like... Oh, there's another one. Let's go and grab this guy, too. Might as well grab these pearls while we can. Before we get to the end, these are kind of important to us. Looks like that creeper's gonna leave us alone. All right, so we got another guy here. Come on. Whoop. Stop squirming. Ooh, he's got a grass block, watch out. Cool, there's uh, more pearls. That one dropped, what was it, three pearls, I think? Yeah, so these pearls are kind of important to us. They're gonna allow us to find a stronghold. No, I can't do, I think we can just place on our bed here and sleep. They will allow us to find a stronghold and then we can uh, get to the end to fight the dragon and then start working towards our elytra But the next step is we need to get ourselves to the nether Yep, that's our next step. So we need to get ourselves 10 obsidian get back to the base uh, Set up another portal. Whoop, that's a creeper. Yeah, get out of here <laughs> before it blows up everything. Oh boy Yep, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my pearls put them nice and safe back in the base and look at a mining uh, Some obsidian and then we will head to the nether all right, so we made it back to the base safe and sound. I harvested my sugar cane again. We're going to be wanting a lot of that paper for rockets in the future, so I'm trying to keep on top of keeping that harvested. But anyway, uh, I set up a portal back here. I did a full-size 14 obsidian. We splurged on it. And, yeah, we got ourselves a flint and steel so we can light this up. And then I put fences around this because I've had it in the past where uh, if you don't, uh, put blocks around your portal creepers somehow find their way inside the nether Yeah, and then that's always fun when you warp in there and immediately get exploded and that puts out your portal and all sorts of nastiness like that So we have it uh, lit up so nothing should spawn here and then fences to prevent anything from actually getting inside the portal Anyway time to go to the nether. Let's see what our nether spawn looks like probably should have brought some blocks with me I didn't Hopefully, we have a decent nether spawn. Okay, glowstone around. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That is a pretty far drop, but we have feather falling four. 
So in case something does happen, I am not immediately seeing another fortress. That's unfortunate. Uh, we do want to get ourselves another fortress pretty quickly so we can get ourselves blaze rods. We need blaze rods in order to make the eyes of Ender in order to go to the end. Lots of glowstone around, so that's quite nice. Uh, still no fortress around here. Hmm. Okay. Well, I am going to inspect this area. Hopefully, we'll be able to find something. I'll probably go back to the overworld, grab some blocks, and includes our portal in case gas spawn or whatever. We don't want them blowing out the portal. Yeah, that's never a good time. But anyway, yep, let me go ahead and I'll be right back. Oh, here we go. The first gas fight of the series. Oh. All right. Gast wins this one. Gast wins that round. Come back here, Gast. I want, I want your tears. Don't float away from me. Come back here. Hey. All right, fine. I'm going to shoot you. No return to sender. Not this time. We'll have plenty of opportunities to do that. Uh, ooh, look at this. Multiple drops. There we go. Four gas tears. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. So I did end up moving the portal. Like, it spawned us down here. I moved it over here where there was a big open area. And then we had a whole lot of stone available. Um, so I turned it into stone brick and I made a structure here. And this is pretty much at like zero, zero in the nether. So it's very easy to remember how to get back here. Uh, but yeah, while I was over there just looking at that ghast, I did see off in the distance over here, there is in fact a nether fortress. Uh, yeah, you can barely see it over here. And now it's getting more and more clear as we get closer. So I see blaze over there. Uh, looks like we're going to have to pillar out. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and fall down. Feather falling four for the win, but we don't have fire resistance. Um, and those blaze are already aggro to me. I think I'm just going to have to try and snipe them from way back here. And hopefully nothing spawns when I pillar out there. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, what we're going to have to do here. There's another one. A little higher. Oh, got him. All right. So yeah, the plan is we're going to have to pillar out and then over and hopefully line up looks like we got a blaze spawner right there which is fantastic we really 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 want those blaze rods though do i have enough blocks to get out there i really hope so i'm gonna take my bow off the bar put the blocks here uh yep and of course we are above a lava lake so if something goes bad i don't have fire protection yeah i should probably keep my eyes over here because a blaze could spawn and if a blaze spawns and shoots one of those fireballs at me yeah, that's going to knock me off. That's not going to be good. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get over there and uh, take care of any blaze on the way. Whoa. Okay. Of course, as soon as I get down here, a gas decides to spawn. We just want to get rid of that guy. Aha! Couldn't even see him and got rid of him. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got ourselves our blaze rods. We got ourselves the advancement for finding the fortress. Lots of good stuff going on here. Now we just need to make this a proper staircase so I can get back out of here. And I'll reclaim some of these blocks that don't need to be there. Cool. All right. So we got ourselves the blaze rods. So there is a blaze spawner up here. I might take a little bit of time and farm some of them. Uh, I do want to go through this fortress, though, because you can get some good stuff from the chest, right? And then we might be able to find ourselves uh, Wither Skeletons, too, in preparation for fighting the Wither Bosses. Looks like we got another fortress. Or, I'm sorry, not a fortress. Another Blaze Spawner right ahead. Yep, that's definitely a spawner up there. Uh, this... I'll try and deal with. Oop. Flaming Arrow. All right, get a little closer, and... There we go. No more lava in the way. Now, I don't think there was a path down here, but yeah, just want to make sure we get rid of that. Uh, if nothing else, it'll allow more spawnable space for the wither skeletons to spawn in. So, yeah, it's good to do that anyway. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got here in this fortress. Look at that lighting glitch. What is this? Hmm. So yeah, blaze spawner right ahead. Still no chests. I guess while we're here, let's go ahead and fight some of these guys. Very 
very good. And some more blaze rods. Perfect. So yes, we'll be able to get ourselves uh, brewing going on. We'll be able to make ourselves the Eyes of Ender to find the end portal. There's some wither skeletons. I'm curious. Like so far, we've had pretty good luck on drops. I wonder if we're going to have pretty good luck on skulls. Let's see if we can get a skull to drop real quick. There's one. That's not bad. Normally, those are really, really hard to get. And, uh, you know, I'll take one out of three. That is not bad at all. Uh, we got lava fall that way. Yep, still not seeing any chests. I mean, there were plenty of other paths to go. I guess we can check out what's up here. Anything up here, Piggy? Nope, nothing. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, there might be something interesting back there, but we our access is kind of blocked. There's another blaze spawner. Man, this... This one seems to have quite a few blaze spawners in it, huh? Or maybe that was the same one that we just saw just from a different angle. I'm not entirely sure. Hey, here we go. Here's a chest. And nether wart. All right, that's something that we need. Uh, gold ingot. And I'll take the chest, too. We can always use more of those. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of other stuff. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, another chest. Let's definitely take a look at this guy. Gold armor, gold horse armor, and some more uh, nether warts. I saw there was a staircase back there with the nether warts on the side of it, so we'll probably harvest all of that, grab the soul sand, and yeah, that's going to be pretty good for us. Now, currently we have 12 blaze rods. You get two blaze powder per, so we have enough in order to make ourselves the eyes of ender. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff up. We want to make sure we start growing that back at the base as well. Don't want to have to run out of that stuff. Ooh. Ghost block. There it is. Do an old right click on it and make it show itself. Okay. Hey, and even more soul seeing nether wart. All right, so it looks like that's the end back there. Anything up here? Pigmen. And that's the end. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and collect the rest of this. Whoop. Okay, I didn't hurt him. <laughs> I was making sure he wasn't upset at me. I'm going to go ahead and collect the rest of this stuff, and then I will get back to the base. All right, guys. So we ended up with a decent amount of blaze rods, and then I also did end up finding the gas tier that dropped from that gas that we shot that we couldn't see. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, I think we're pretty much done with that for this episode. We'll probably take a look at getting to the uh, nether, or I'm sorry, the... The end fortress next time? Did this tunnel? I can't remember. One of these tunnels, there was a key, but it might have been the other one. Um, yeah, I think we'll take a look at uh, getting to the fortress, the stronghold next time. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be a good idea. Uh, yeah, down this tunnel here, we broke into a cave. Not here. One of these spots. Oh, it's somewhere around here. I know what it is. Yeah. So we broke into a cave, and I kind of did a little bit of exploring. And it turns out this went right to a spider spawner. Yep. This is where I thought there was an abandoned mine shaft because we kept hearing other monsters and we kept hearing spiders spawning. Yeah, I guess it didn't even cross my mind that there would just be a standard uh, dungeon here with a spider spawner in it. Uh, the loot that was here, I mean, it's all right. Golden apple, we got a music disc, diamond horse armor. That's not bad, especially since we don't have any of that stuff. So yeah, just some random dungeon loot. Nothing like super spectacular. But yeah, the diamond horse armor, I think that'll come in handy. I'm just going to leave that here for now since we don't even have a horse, so there's not a lot of reason to take it. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys that so yeah, you guys could see that, in fact, there was no abandoned mine shaft. That's too bad. It seems like those are more and more rare in these later versions. It seems like when the abandoned mine shafts were first introduced into the game, they are pretty common. But anyway... I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. We had a pretty good adventure. We got ourselves our ender pearls. We went to the nether. Uh, our nether portal, now that I moved in the nether, doesn't link up anymore. I don't know if it linked up before, but I'm definitely going to have to go back to the nether and replace our portal uh, <laughs> to whatever the coordinates are in the overworld divided by eight and make sure that they link up. So that'll be something that I'll do before next episode. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Again, leave some comments down below. Let me know your stories about natural disasters. Have you been through a hurricane? Your experiences with earthquakes? I've been through those. Things along those lines. 
Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. But yep, yeah, that's all we got for today. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.